Um, Chad Davidson from Cookerin, a uh, farmer who grows export hay. Um, this year we've used Priority um, in with our LVE mix to, we we're going in for a radish spray and had um, big issues with vetch from last year's vetch stubble. Um, we, we love the results of Priority. Um, well, the reason we used Priority was um, the plant back issues that um, export hay face. We're, and we had really good results from, from the, using the Priority. The vetch is completely gone. We didn't want to use the SUs because um, we didn't want to knock the canopy around with the long residue residual. Um, and yeah, we're, ha we're really happy with the results. Yeah, Kim Gooding of Cook and Rural Services. Um, standing out here with Cook and Grower Chad Davidson. Uh, Chaddy got us out here back in about uh, early June. Uh, standing in an export hay crop. Here we're all about growing bulk and last year's rotation Chad had grown some some vetch for grazing and we did an option this year in amongst the radish spray to control volunteer vetch as well as his cape weed, radish and whatever else broad spectrum broadleaf weeds are in here. Uh, we chose priority because of its short residual group B activity and also because of its um, benefits of not having any uh, plant residue limits in the export hay market, which is a pretty big deal, which we've all got to be very wary of for our markets. So we chose priority, fluorazolim being a short residual group B, uh, doesn't knock the canopy around when we're trying to grow bulk hay, and it's done an outstanding job, as you can see, on uh, particularly the vetch, and I can't see any radish plants poking up in the canopy either. So very economical, mixed with LVA at 440 mils. Um, yeah, this was a lawn of vetch back in June and is now well and truly controlled. So very happy with the product and would recommend uh, in future years to come for sure.